I made a meme. I made a meme. I made a meme. I made a meme. What do you guys think of my meme skills, right? I made a meme and I'm, I made a question, a, a little question meme. What do you guys think? I want you guys to vote in the chat and you have to vote with P or C. Who works harder, P or C? Who works harder, right? <laughs> uh podcasters or chefs who do you think works harder because on this caption here from brendan so i'll get rid of the chat it says six days six podcasts in three days i earned it hashtag big gulp boys right with his with with the with the with the what you call it with the baboon ass lips there and then the next um picture next to it is a picture of a chef that is in the image of anthony bourdain it says yeah i'm a fucking chef yeah i have arm tattoos fucking deal with it no one's job is harder than mine i'm a giant piece of shit for no reason cooking is fucking punk rock fuck you who do you think is who do you think works harder people are saying c's i see c's there c's c's all day <laughs> john africa <laughs> Those lips exactly every time he drinks, I'm sure. Exactly, yep. Jamie Oliver lips um, works better. Jamie Oliver, oh, lisp. Okay, yeah, true. Jamie, I'm not going to ever, ever insult Jamie Oliver, man, because he saved the UK. When I was growing up and I was going to school, we used to be served burgers and pizzas and shit every day. We'd have burgers and pizzas in school. Cheeseburgers, chicken burgers, massive pizza slices, fish and chips, you know crazy shit right every single day we'd eat that i remember even the colors of the burgers i think red was um beef burger yellow was cheeseburger green was veggie and i think blue was ch chicken i even remember the colors that's how fucking much of a fat piece of shit i was back in the day but when jamie oliver started his um you know his cooking show thing or whatever he did at, at that time one of his main things that he wanted to do was was kind of redo or kind of fix up the fucking um culinary shit in schools and stuff and he improved everything throughout the entire school especially public school systems like he just basically turned it all around and basically said this stuff wasn't good for you you had to fight a lot with the parents because the parents weren't happy but he then he then basically put into place a system where schools were able to um serve real food and shit so that was really good um but yeah i, re I respect jamie jamie oliver he's a big dude so everyone's saying everyone's saying chefs yeah cool um i do agree with you i think chefs but there is a bit of a backlash against chefs these days online. I think it's because of that show, um, is it The Bear, right? Because I think the idea behind it, it kind of like fetishizes the, the suffering of it and it kind of makes it seem like, you know, chefs are one of the only hardest working people in the world. But I think the reason why that happens is because I think for most people, especially if you don't live, if you've never come up, if you've never been brought up in like a real environment and you've kind of grown up in some level of luxury, right? Um, I would assume... I would assume you've never really interacted with a lot of like regular people. So maybe working in a kitchen is the one time you get to actually interact with regular people because mostly in the kitchen, you're going to be interacting with regular working class people just trying to figure it out or maybe some downright criminals because there's only place they can go and work. So I understand why people basically fetishize it. And obviously it's working with your hands and guys like to feel like they're useful and shit. So I kind of get it. I understand. I understand the chef thing. And obviously as well, it takes really, it takes a long time to get good at cooking or becoming a chef especially if you decide to go to a school for it or whatever it may be but the podcasting pride i don't understand that's one thing i don't get the pride of this i don't understand it because it's different for like not to like be like oh i'm i'm a i'm a, I'm a bigger victim but it's a different thing if you're like me and you're doing it all on your own or like most people are you do it all on your own when you're this guy, when you're Brendan, you're not really recording the podcast on your own. You've got a chin and you've got somebody else who does the artwork. You've got somebody else who does the timestamps, who does the titles, the descriptions, like everything, the uploading. So all you're really doing is sitting in front of a microphone and talking. If I had that, I would be knocking out 10 podcasts a day because someone else can handle all that stuff because i do the whole thing it just takes a bit longer especially when you have to balance a real job and shit and blah 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 like a nine to five and you know, gym shit it's just what it is so i would understand if i took some pride in it but i don't even because it's still lame it's still gay to be like oh i'm a podcaster and i work hard it's fucking ridiculous like get over yourself it's not that serious so the fact that these guys take that much pride in it and make it seem like they're going to go work at the fucking building site or something 
it's really embarrassing. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of embarrassing. Like, it's not that deep. Big up Stinger Goo. What do Proud Boys and Antifa have in common? I don't know. What do Proud Boys and Antifa have in common? Stinger Goo, tell us. What do they have in common? I don't know. Oh, is it Papa? <laughs> is it Papa? Is it Brendan? <laughs> do they have Papa in common? But yeah, I don't, I don't understand the... I don't really understand the fucking... The, the pride that they have in being podcasters when they don't actually work you know they don't do much all they do is sit in front of a mic and talk and let somebody else handle the rest of it that's the odd thing about it and personally um i honestly don't think that it's that much to be proudful about like just talking shit into a microphone it's kind of insane the stuff that i do sitting here on my own shouting in the dead of night into a microphone with you guys here laughing at people <laughs> online that we don't know is absolutely insane but it can be fun waste of time but it's not something you're going to be you know writing on your cv it's not something you're going to be hanging up on your wall i did this you just do it you enjoy it and then when it ends you you kind of you know quietly kind of soak away into the court into the flipping dark corners of the world and shit i really don't get it um these pictures themselves i find interesting because these pictures that Brendan takes with his with the lips and stuff and the hat in the car, you can tell this is his version of comedy. Like he thinks this is funny. It probably got some laughs the first time he did it, so he does it. Or my other theory is that it's the one picture that he uploads where he gets the most likes on his Instagram stories, or maybe the odd DM for the baddie. That's what I think happens. I think a baddie or two clicks it and likes it. And I think he either gets the most replies or people like people one time people thought it was funny and he's never stopped. I think that's my theory on it. I think one time somebody said it was funny and he's never flipping turned around since then. But it just looks so weird and funny. But I did notice one thing. Is he wearing the Dion Sanders glasses in a different colour? Or am I bugging out? Are those the Dion's are those it? Are those the Dion Sanders glasses? They look at like the ones in it, no? Is he is he is he copying people once again? Non-stop fucking copy. Brendan loves a good copy, innit? Are those the ones? Yeah, he's wearing them. He's wearing the same glasses that Dion Sanders has been famous for in just a different colour. Oh my god. The glaze master, Brendan Shaw, does it again. The glaze fucking master, Brendan Shaw, does it once again. He's wearing the same one. See, it's the same style. Look, it's got the same little um, mark there. It's the same this as well. Like, he's wearing the same sunglasses that Deion Sanders has been wearing, Coach Prime. Oh, my God, man. The glaze master, fucking Brendan Shaw. He's never even spoken about Colorado football before Deion Sanders went there and turned things around. Now, all of a sudden, when Coach Prime is there, he's all about fucking Colorado, tweeting about it all the time, retweeting the same picture of him in wearing the, you know, wearing the jersey when he was playing there back in the day. Like, oh my God, man. Come on, Brendan. Have some shame. Have a little bit of shame, my friend. God almighty. But anyway, what can you do? Um... Dion, Dion, Dion Sanders, Coach Prime. Um, are these nice? What's a big gulp, by the way, guys? I don't. We don't have this in the UK. What's a big gulp? Is that just an energy drink? Is that a slushy? What is that? Where do you get that from? A Seven Eleven. What is that? Is that is that like an energy drink? What is it? It's a big ass soda. That's a lot of sugar, isn't it? For somebody that's always on a diet, it's a bit weird to 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 have that, isn't it? Huh? Oh, it's a self serve. Okay, cool. It's a Diet Coke. L l yes, it's a slushy. Okay, cool. A gallon size. That's a big cup, bro. He's drinking that. Then he's drinking the whiskey. Then the the fucking what's that power drink he drinks? Um, is it Axe or whatever? That the that sponsor for his podcast. That's a lot of fucking sugar in a day. No wonder his teeth are rotting. He consumes a lot of fucking sugar, bro. God damn. Big big straw. Big big cup. Big big sunglasses. Big big glaze. But yeah, Dion Sanders shades on in the pickup truck, enjoying times out there. But yeah, the two most hardworking people in the world, podcasters and chefs, what would we do without them? What would we do without them?